I was surrounded by them when I was 14 years old. Surrounded. Literally. Didn't even know it. It wasn't until I was old enough to realize what they were and what they wanted and what they were about and the types of people that were surrounding me till I went, oh my God, they were everywhere like vultures. Vultures who Feldman says abused him and his best friend, the late child actor Corey Haim. Michael Jackson was a witch hunt, okay? Let me just say this. He was a guy who was so innocent, so kind of sheltered, you couldn't even swear around him. You couldn't talk about drugs. You couldn't talk about nude women. You couldn't talk about sex. You couldn't talk about anything. Was he a pedophile? No, no, we don't believe so. I don't believe so. Not at all. Being a father myself and being a man, men know men. He had the desires of women like we did. In fact, they say he had at least two girlfriends, dispelling that other rumor. We had a, uh, a curtain in the, that covered the back seat. You couldn't see in the back seat. They talked back there and you know. So he's making out in the back seat? Or chewing loud gum. In talking to L.A. Reid and in talking to Teddy Riley, guys who spent a lot of time with him, they both told me stories about these women in the studio. Okay, I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing. I was, I was, you know, everyone has their perceptions of what Michael was about. But I tell you what, L.A. Reid is a guy I know very well. I know Teddy Riley very well. These are very straight guys. And they're, te they, they're telling me that when, Michael had fine ass women in the studio hanging out with him. I believe him. So it's interesting that there's this whole narrative about Michael as a heterosexual male. Hanging out with guys I know who are very heterosexual male. But there was, there was it's something interesting. He himself would never consciously, publicly, it was like he had this well, interesting thing. 